All right, folks, I got this thing up and running. There's a run battery right there. And I don't have any charge battery connected to it. I just have the run battery. There's my other batteries I uh, use most of the time. And this particular battery has 11.9 volts in it. Okay, I haven't used it for a while. So, thought I'd give it a try. So now it's up and running. Okay, with 11.9 uh, volt battery power in this thing, the run battery. So it's also at the same time this thing is is putting energy out the charge circuit because the box is running and and the caps are charged up and all that. So and here's the wires that are coming out of the charge circuit right here. I got them hanging down to the floor, so I'm getting nailed, shocked later on. Got to really be careful about this. I got them connections right down here. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Connections here. Here's my connections. And they're coming right on up to my voltmeter. My voltmeter is right connected directly into this thing. And like I told you before, it's just a spiraling voltage. It's uh, coming right up. <clears throat> that's feeding out of this thing. So right now it's pretty close to being about 200. There it is, there's magic 200. Okay, so I've got 200 volts coming out of that right now. It goes up to about 233, as I found out by experimenting. And then it'll stable, sort of stabilize right about there. But okay, you must figure, okay, I, I got that kind of voltage coming out here. What about the current? So next to it, I got my uh, amp meter there and I got the negative side of the uh, wire connected through to see what kind of power uh, uh, amps I'm getting out of this thing and I'm getting 0 .37, 0 0.38 amps you can take it right down there so you got 0 0.37, 0 0.38 amps times Let's say 200, and you go go figure. That's your watts. So that's what we got coming out of here. And uh, pretty much that's all I got to say and show. Thanks for watching, folks.